guys for this project I'm using this uh, bulky yarn so we have 133 meters for 50 grams in Italy we do not use to give a number to the yarn kind okay we use to classify yarns uh, thickness with meters so we know that for 50 grams we have 133 meters okay so please don't ask me the number of the yarn because i don't know this is the name i will link you in the information box below um, the shop where i took this yarn i will work it with a six 0.5 millimeters crochet hook okay let's go slip note to start insert your hook in the loop and now chain 70 okay for me it's uh, necessary to chain 70 uh, but you can chain so many chains you like um, your foundation chain must wrap around your head so for a child you can do for example just 30 chains for an adult 70 you can do so many chains you like important is that is an even number of chains slip stitch to join into the first chain please don't twist the chain be careful slip stitch to join now this will be my first stitch in this first stitch i have to put a stitch marker and the other stitch marker i will put it in the half of my foundation chain plus one okay into the stitch number one and the stitch number 36 i have to create two corners uh, thanks to these two corners i will have the typical shape of the poncho with tops uh, in between i will work one double crochet in each stitch below so let's start i will start the first round into the first stitch with the first corner but just the half of the corner because the second half i will work at the end of the first row so chain two which takes the place of the first double crochet in yarn over into the same very first stitch double crochet one that's half of a corner now just double crochet one in each chain stitch below double crochet one into the next double crochet one into the next double crochet one into the next sorry and so on till you get to the second stitch marker as you see i'm going to use a different um, hook but the, um, the number of my hook is the same 6.5 millimeters okay just the color is different but the same the same hook size okay okay 
I am quite to the stitch marker, the second stitch marker. Here I will create the second corner. So into the stitch number 36, double crochet 2, 1 and 2, chain 1, into the same stitch double crochet 2, 1 and 2. And into the chain I put again the stitch marker so that I know that here I have the second corner, okay? The first half of the corner and the second full corner, okay? Now I can go ahead, double crochet one in each chain stitch below as I, as I did on the other side, okay? Okay, this was my last double crochet into the last chain stitch. Now I am at the beginning, you see, this was the first chain. In this first chain, double crochet two, one and two and uh, finish your round with one half double crochet into the chain top of the beginning like that. This is the complete corner and this is the center of your corner. Okay. Now from here I can start second round, chain 2 which takes the place of the first double crochet, yarn over into the same space double crochet 1. Okay, now I have 1 and 2 double crochet below, in each one of these 2 double crochet, 1 front post double crochet, yarn over pass uh, the hook under the double crochet below of previous round and double crochet one. That's the first front post double crochet. Now the second one into the next stitch below, yarn over, pass the hook under the stitch like that and do your double crochet. So one and two front post double crochet. Now I have to go ahead with one double crochet in each stitch below, but insert your hook into the back loop of each stitch, into the back side of each stitch only. Insert your hook, I have two sides for one stitch, one and two front and back sides of my stitch, insert yarn over and insert your hook into the back side only of each stitch and double crochet one. You have to do that in each stitch below only into the back side of the stitch. Go ahead like that till you get to the second stitch marker. Okay, when I am just two double crochet before the center of the second corner, I know that I have to repeat one and two front post double crochet. So yarn over, pass the hook through the body of your stitch like that and double crochet one that's the first front post yarn over do the second one through the uh, stitch body like that and this is the second sorry i don't like it i repeat again 
Okay, that's the second front post double crochet. Now into the center of the corner below, remove the stitch marker and create a new corner. Double crochet two into the chain one space, one and two. Chain two. I prefer to chain two because so that I have the same length of the half double crochet I did at the beginning. And again double crochet two into the corner center, into the corner space. Okay? One and two. That's my new corner. Now I have to do two front post double crochet. The first one. Okay, and now the second one, one and two. Okay, now one double crochet into the back side of each stitch below till I get to the end of this round. I will stop just two stitches before the end. Here I am, two stitches before the end, into the first double crochet below, front post double crochet into the next one second front post double crochet and now into the space below remove the stitch marker and double crochet two one and two into the same space and one half double crochet into the top of the chain like that second round is completed insert insert again the stitch marker so you know that this is the first corner this is the second corner okay i'm ready to start now round number three Chain two, which takes the place of the first double crochet into the same space, double crochet one. Okay. Now into the back loop of this double crochet below, one double crochet into the next one into the back loop again one double crochet one two three and four now i have one and two front post double crochet repeat again two front post double crochet the first one one the second one into the next one and two now continue double crochet one into the back side of each stitch only like that till you get to the next corner the next stitch marker Okay, I am quite at the end of the third round. I stopped just before the two front post double crochet. Now I have to front post double crochet one in each one below. So one front post double crochet, two into the next one, one and two. Okay, now into the next two stitches, one double crochet into the back loop, one and 
to and into the space with stitch marker remove it and double crochet to one and two and half double crochet into the chain top okay third round is completed starting round number four at number uh, at round number four i will create a new double line of front post double crochet chain two double crochet one into the space below and now i see that at previous round i have one two three and four double crochet every time i have one and two and three and four double crochet at previous round i can create a new double line of front post double crochet so one front post crochet into the double crochet below one one front post double crochet into the next one two one and two new line of front post double crochet into the next two stitches one double crochet into the back loop one and two into the next two front double crochet one front post double crochet into each one one and two now continue one double crochet into the back loop only in each stitch below till you get to the next stitch marker okay i am quite to the next corner here into this front post double crochet below one front post in each one one and two now you see below i have one two three and four double crochet so i know that i can create a new uh, line front post double crochet just before the next corner so into the next two stitches one double crochet into the back loop one and two Mm. and now i can create new front post double crochet into the first one and new front post double crochet into the next one one and two okay now into the center of the corner double crochet two into the space below one and two chain two double crochet two into the same space now on the other side i can repeat exactly what i did here right now so into the first double crochet below one front post double crochet into the next one below one front post double crochet so repeating a new line front post double crochet into the next two double crochet one into the back 
loop one and two into the next one and repeat again two front post double crochet one and two okay if something is not clear please come back and review what I explained you okay now go ahead to the end of this round double crochet one into the back loop of each stitch below okay again at the end of this round so below one and two front post double crochet repeat two new ones one front post double crochet into the next one second front post double crochet now one and two double crochet into the back loop one and two and now into the next two double crochet below you can create a new double line of front post double crochet into the uh, passing through the first one create the first front post double crochet passing through the body of the second one create second front post double crochet and now into the center middle space double crochet two one and two to complete your first corner half double crochet one into the top of the chain one so that's the end of round number four now you have to uh, work round after round in this way following this pattern this method I show you you know that every time you have one two three and four double crochet at previous round one after the other you can create a new double line of front post double crochet before your corner okay i show you with this project okay round after round you'll get so so many new double lines of front post double crochet and in between you have always one and two uh, double crochet into the back loop between each front post double crochet double line okay and into the center of the top you always have your new corner you can go ahead like that following this pattern so many rounds you like according to the length you like for your poncho Of course you can work so many rounds you, li you like according to the length you wish for your poncho. Now I will show you how to crochet the last three rounds as final border. Let's start decoration border, chain two, double crochet one into the space below chain one yarn over skip the next stitch into the next three stitches double crochet one one 
two, three, chain one. Yanova, skip one stitch into the next one, two, three stitches, one double crochet. So one, two, and three. Chain one. Now repeat the same. So repeat that all the way around. So when you are just beside the corner, chain one, skip one stitch and into the chain two space repeat a corner so double crochet two chain two double crochet two and then from here start again chain one yarn over skip the next stitch into the next three double crochet one one two and three chain one at the end of this round chain one skip one stitch into the chain two space of the beginning double crochet two one and two and finish with one half double crochet into the top of the chain like that i'm ready now to start the second round which is the same as the previous one, so the granny stitch, chain two to start, yarn over, double crochet one into the same space below, chain one, yarn over. Now in each chain one space, you have to double crochet three, one, two, three, and chain one and repeat in every chain one space double crochet three chain one one two three chain one one two three chain one so go ahead like that all the way around every time you meet a chain two space you have to repeat a new corner <laughs> final decoration round from here chain two enter the very first space below and double crochet one sorry okay from here now you just have to chain one go into the next chain one space and single crochet one chain one yarn over go into the middle double crochet below here in the center so one two and three into the second one double crochet two one and two chain one 
go into the next chain one space and single crochet one from here now repeat chain one go into the second double crochet below and double crochet two one and two chain one into the chain one space single crochet one repeat that all the way around okay i show you now how to work when you are besides a corner from here chain one into the second double crochet below double crochet two chain one into the chain one space below single crochet one chain one skip the next two double crochet below and into the chain two space repeat the new corner double crochet two chain two double crochet two into the same space below chain one single crochet one into the chain one space below chain one and go ahead like that all across all the way around at the end of this round your poncho is completed.